Hola estudiantes, today I'm going to talk about the verb tener or to have. Please have your note guide out and ready. So, just like I said, the verb tener means to have. Let's see how we conjugate this verb. Remember when I say conjugate, I mean that I'm conjugating the verb to agree with its subject. So, the verb tener is kind of funny because it has some stem changes and it doesn't um, in each um, subject. So right now when I talk about the verb tener and its conjugations, please fill out number two on your note guide. You should already have number one filled out. In Spanish, if I want to say I have, I say yo tengo, yo tengo. In Spanish, if I want to say you have, I would say tú tienes, tú tienes. In Spanish, if I wanted to say he or she has, I would say usted, él, ella tiene. In Spanish, if I wanted to say we have, I would say nosotros or nosotras tenemos. And if I wanted to say they have, I would say ustedes, ellos, ellas tienen. So again, I have, yo tengo, you have, tú tienes, he or she has, usted, él, ella tiene. We have, nosotros, tenemos, and they have, ustedes, ellos, tienen. So please fill out your note guide. Um, number two. So let's practice using the verb tener. I want you to fill out number three, four, and five on your note guide as I talk about how we conjugate. So in Spanish, if I wanted to say, I have class on Tuesday, I would say, yo tengo clase el martes. If I wanted to say, we have art class at 8 in the afternoon, I would say, nosotros tenemos la clase de arte a las 8 por la tarde. And if I wanted to say, she has history class in the morning, I would say, ella tiene la clase de historia por la mañana. As you can see, my subject and my verb agree. Yo tengo... Nosotros tenemos, and ella tiene. So in Spanish, if I want to use the verb tener with a verb infinitive, it means it talks about something that he or she has to do. Here, something he or she has to do, or what you have to do. So on number six, I want you to answer number six on your note guide right now. Here are some examples. And also, remember in Spanish, if I use a verb, in, um, verb infinitive, are all verbs that end with AR, ER, and IR. You learned a ton in chapter one, like comer, to eat, beber, to drink, hablar, to speak, and correr, to run. So, here are a few examples. Tengo que estudiar. I have to study. Or you could say, tenemos que ir a la clase de arte. We have to go to art class. Let's practice. Focus on um, number eight and nine on your note guide. So in Spanish, if I wanted to say, she has to teach in the class, I would say, ella tiene que enseñar en la clase. Or I could say, we have to take notes. Nosotros tenemos que tomar apuntes. I hope you understand the verb tener and tener plus que plus the infinitive. Be ready for your flip mini quiz the next time that we meet. Adios!